welcome everybody to the hottest wrestling program in the entire world. Welcome everybody to NXT. So much money, it ain't even funny. Here comes the richest man in NXT history. Saxton, maybe you should ask Grimes for a little loan. You can. This Hold was on not a expected. second. This is completely uncalled for, but completely validated, Cole. by a forearm. Oh, right on point. Strong takedown there. And there's a takedown. And what kind of superstar is typically favored in a tables match? The smart ones. It takes a surprising amount of planning to put someone through a table. And that'll about do it, folks. The future has arrived. A man who bends limbs, joints, and time itself. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Tokyo, Japan. Weighing in at 192 pounds. Who she? This is a man who spent many years as the top light heavyweight in Japan and is now one of the finest cruiserweights in WWE. And who can forget the moment that Kushida defeated Santos Escobar to win the NXT Cruiserweight Championship. Here comes a man with a plan himself, the Brian Kendrick. Unpredictable and as dangerous as the day is long. And his opponent from Venice, California, weighing in at 174 pounds, the Brian Kendrick. Kendrick, a multi-time tag team champion, a former cruiserweight champion as well, ultra-talented veteran of the ring. When you're as ready and prepared and plan as well as Kendrick, titles just sort of happen. Don't you guys just love it when a great plan comes together? There can be no question that Kushida is a world-class talent. Before landing in WWE, he was one of Japan's top high flyers and found success in practically every ring he entered. The determination Kushida has shown lately has really been inspiring. He's adopted a new, more serious attitude in regards to competition and is done holding back. He won't let anything stop him from climbing yeah. his way to the top. That's why Kushida has never stopped evolving. 
on his way to being recognized as one of the best in the world. I hope he's ready for a lesson tonight because Brian Kendrick doesn't just see himself as a superstar, he sees himself as a teacher. He wants to make his opponents better, usually by humiliating them and teaching them a lesson they won't forget. Say, that's insane! Yeah. Oh, misses the mark. Huh. Yeah. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. Just a continuous rush on Brian Kendrick here. Kushida's always dangerous when he's unloading like this. And Corey D. Brian Kendrick has done it all. How do you possibly find an answer for a super? And now he's looking to lock in this submission. Being put into knots. Will this match end on a submission, on a tap out? In this much, how do you get out of this? Oh, look at that. What a great counter. Got it cinched in. This could be it. Oh, oh, boom. Package driver. Attacks from the arsenal of Kushida. And this is a rare sight indeed, but it looks like the Brian Kendrick has been thrown off his plan. And now there's a look of determination on the face of... Look at this cinch in. Hoverboard lock is in. Submission locked in tight. Nowhere to go. No escape. This could be the end. There's no way he survives this. No way. He let it go. Can he score the pin? Oh, uh, maybe. Now is a good time to look at some of the highlights from that last matchup. Here is your winner, Kushida! And that seemed like a pretty easy day at the office right there. An absolute statement by the victor here tonight. What a steamrolling. Can someone please fix the microphones? Nobody could hear the entrances. I want them fixed now. Understand? No more cutting out, and I'm truly getting tired of people ending their matches so quickly. Sort yourselves out before I do it for you. Oh, this is going to be good. Yes, welcome to Swerve's house. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Tacoma, Washington. Weighing in at 201 pounds. The NXT North American Champion, Isaiah Swerve. The unmistakable swag of Isaiah Swerve Scott on display. Uh, Byron, he has the talent to back it up. Saxon, why don't you learn from Swerve Scott? This guy is cool, man. Everything about him is cool. You should take notes. I thought I already had a cool factor. The swagger of Isaiah Swerve Scott has earned him love from the WWE Universe, but some say it borders on arrogance. Yeah, but when you're as good as Swerve is, you have to show it off. About to see great high-flying and striking hybrid offense. And his opponents, first from Recluse, Wyoming, weighing in at 239 pounds, Dexter Loomis. Almost reptilian in his movements. Yeah, inhuman, cold-blooded. I don't think I want to know what's going on behind those eyes. Oh, my God. What is this guy? Oh, my Lord. Wow. I think I'm going to go hide now. Yeah, make way, Saxton. Leave a little room for me. This guy creeps me out.
And look who's here at NXT. Alexander Wolf. And representing Imperium from Dresden, Germany, weighing in at 245 pounds, Alexander Wolf. Guys, I admittedly don't know much about Alexander Wolf. Tell me about him. Well, we know Alexander Wolf was formerly a member of Sanity, known for being rather unhinged, but ever since has found an alignment with Walter and Imperium, which has given him more focus and direction in his career. Listen, Cole, you're going to learn all you need to know about Alexander Wolf when the bell rings. Superstars in what should be a hectic triple threat match. It will be Isaiah Scott, Dexter Loomis, and Alexander Wolf. Every superstar for themselves in this matchup. Still, it's possible to see some temporary alliances, no matter how strange. It's about getting the odds in your favor. Chances are better against Wolf instead of two. Overhand connects. Or behind. What are the perils of this match that superstars must be concerned with? Well, this is the type of setting where you must be aware of outside interference because when it's no disqualification, it's not considered interference. It's legal. The match can change in an instant when another individual who is not officially part of the match makes their presence felt. That's when a competitor needs to utilize the anything go stipulation to their benefit and eliminate the mismatch. Definitely not where you want to be right now. Just carried like a rag doll here. Ooh. Right to the jaw. Oh, that'll fillet your chest. Ah, oh, face first off the post. There's some power behind that punch. That had to burn. Setting foot in the ring now. Carefully measured. Again? Real European uppercut. Bad predicament right here. Loomis keeps him at bay. Ooh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. He's staring his opponent down, getting into that zone. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Huge toss. Oh, and Loomis turns the tables. He's lost some of his win now. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Oh. All measured up. Drop kick to the spine. This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. Stop gloating and put your attention back to the match. Big punch finds its mark. Big right hook. Hooked up. Belly to back suplex. Up high, down low, leg drop. Oh, right to the throat. What a DDT. Wow. Final cut. Perfectly executed. Need that 
He's positioning himself, closing in. Oh! Hoist it up. Ooh, stomach landing on the knee. He's struggling a bit here. Hanging tough as this match progresses. No easy task in a triple threat match. Whatever's playing here can't be good. Oh, jeez. Falling hard to the outside. Heads out and he has all the time he wants. Oh, my. Jumpy DDT. Absolutely planted. Oh, what a roadhouse kick. Oh, that'll turn your skin red. Beautiful. Producing a trampoline kick. Loomis bends that off. Off with a DDT. Knee right to the temple. Look at this. Locked in on the shoulder. Inside the ring. Oh, He's in a bad way, guys. There is no way this can go on for much longer. He's been placed in the corner. Alexander went with a perfect face cut. Reversal on this. Right across the throat. He is a sight to behold. Take a picture while you can, everyone. This is surprising, Byron. This could be it. Cover for the win. Punch right in the head. Oh, he could pass a point right here. It's over. Two, kick out. So, so close. That could have been it. Alexander Wolf in control here. Threat match. That match deserves another look, folks. Here is your winner, Alexander Wolf. Quite the impressive victory coming out on top against two very capable, very prepared competitors. I know there is only one true winner of a match like this, guys, but the other two superstars should keep their heads up high after the performances they pulled off here. Unfortunately, there are no consolation prizes in triple threat matches, Saxton, but you have a point. All three of these competitors really gave it their all here. Here comes a powerhouse Braun Bombshell. The following contest 
is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring, accompanied by Dana Brooke from Yorktown Heights, New York, the NXT Women's Champion, Mandy Rose. One of the top competitors in the women's tag division. I love the storybook romance that Mandy Rose had with Otis. I'd rather forget those days, Saxton. Oh, it was true love. A massive presence in the women's division. And accompanied by Dakota Kai from Rio Grande Valley, Texas, Raquel Gonzalez. Alongside Dakota Kai, Raquel Gonzalez won the first ever Women's Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic and were the first ever NXT Women's Tag Team Champions. Raquel Gonzalez, definitely a woman you want in your corner. A true powerhouse of the game physically outmatches everyone she steps into the ring with. Six-foot-tall powerhouse Raquel Gonzalez laser-focused for tonight's matchup. Oh, yeah, Raquel Gonzalez has the size, strength, and bad attitude to push just about any superstar in the women's locker room past the breaking point. No doubt she has only one thing in her mind tonight, and that is to impose her will on her competition. And then you have someone like Mandy Rose. I mean, there's no one like Mandy Rose, but you know what I mean. Physically dominant from her strength to her looks. Yeah, man, he certainly has an understated, almost effortless approach from the top. Touching down. Manny Rose, a talent who is always improving. What does she need to do to get to the next level with a win tonight? I think Rose needs to rely on her strength. She's a natural powerhouse, and it would be in Mandy's best interest to focus on that here. Ball drop. Do some serious damage, and Rose gets out of harm's way. A mounting and hammering away. And a slap, too. Perfect. She's starting to look concerned. Two. She's feeling it, and the WWE Universe is feeling it too. Forearm to the face. Oh, nothing fancy about that. Looking for a high risk. Here we go. Ooh. Mandy Rose. And able to beat Mandy to the punch. Great, great issue. Yep, looking for the submission. Putting the pressure on now. I don't know what choice she has except it. Oh, just like that. to the arm, hyper extend your elbow. Bam, what a sweat. Oh, oh. And set up for something in the corner. Four on to the jump. She's starting to drain a little bit. Things considered cold, it's not a bad condition being at this point in the match. Oh, just in case the first few didn't hurt, there's another. Nice counter from Gonzalez. Oh, he's 
crossed it over into the gory special. Could be looking for a submission here. Oh, this is so painful. A lot of tension being used. Trapped and nowhere to go. Oh, look at this power. Incredible power from the position she was in. Gonzalez avoids contact. Oh, the electric chair down for the drop. Oh, stuck in the leg. Just that. She's got her where she wants her. Throwing caution to the win. From the top. For the win. Two. Kick out. She still has life. Somehow she's still in this matchup. It's unbelievable. Oh, look at this here, guys. Does Mandy have any fight left? And that'll be a rope break right there. Submission just extending parts that don't extend. The submission is locked in. Tap deep. out coming. It's tap over. out coming. Oh, look at this power. Incredible power from the position she was in. Oh, man, by the hair. Big right hand. Chest and now straight to the knee. Look at this superhuman power. Oh, man, what a power Gonzalez ending this fight right there. Raquel gets the victory. And raise one more time for Raquel. Let's take another look at these ladies going toe to toe. Victory is one for the record books. No one was willing to give even a single inch of ground in this battle. At times, it seemed like these competitors were totally deadlocked, but here you see the one who prevailed. Yes. Yes, you did tell me to... Why not? Like I said last week, he's a husband. He has no right to be on NXT. No, I am not trying to defy you. I know you gave me an order, but... Yes, yes, sir. You're the boss. He will definitely be in NXT next week. Good night, sir. No!
Now here comes a very dangerous group. Brought their own style of Lucha Libre to NXT and look to redefine what Lucha Libre tradition is The following about. contest is a Tornado Tag Team Match. And at a combined weight of 365 pounds, Raul Mendoza and Joaquin Wilde, Legado del Fantasma. You know, as a group, they've been dominant in both the tag team and singles ranks in NXT. Yeah, these superstars are not about entertaining the fans with high-flying moves. They're all about winning and making money every step of the way. Such discipline, a bright future for this team and all of its members, without a doubt. Tag Team Champions. Rizango, longtime veterans here in WWE, but still the most fashionable team around. They cannot stand your choice in outfits. I don't believe that's true. No, it's a fact, Saxton. I asked Deputy Dango prior to the match. Maybe Dango will let you borrow that hat. Good measure. Oh, another 
Boom! Blow to the chest! Here's a few clips from the last match for us. Here are your winners, the team of Tyler Breeze and Fontango. Breeze on goal! Tyler Breeze and company with the win. In a hectic tornado tag match, these two guys were able to stay focused and come out on top. One of the signature superstars in NXT history. The self-proclaimed greatest sports entertainer in history. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Weighing in at 201 pounds. The NXT Champion, Tommaso Ciampa. No matter what you think about him, you can't deny Champa's as tough as they come. Yeah, we've seen Champa recover from not one, but two career-threatening injuries. Not only that, but he recovered ahead of schedule and came back in the best shape of his life. The worst place to be is across the ring from a motivated Tommaso Champa. Some love him, some loathe him, but everyone respects him. Well, lucky for him, Ciampa's not here to make friends. He's here to put food on the table for his family. And Ciampa will not stop until he gets exactly what he wants. Who's back at NXT? And his NXT opponent Universe from Huntington Beach, Beach, California, Beach. weighing in at 282 pounds, Samoa Joe. One of the baddest dudes to ever play the game. The first two-time NXT champion. A world-traveled, world-class competitor. One of the most well-rounded athletes sports entertainment's ever encountered. Yeah, the scenery may have changed in Samoa Joe's career, but the attitude is still the same. Samoa Joe does what he wants, when he wants. A very dangerous, dangerous man. Tommaso Ciampa's approach to in-ring competition. He's a man of conviction. He truly believes that he and he alone should be the standard winner of this entire industry. Nothing wrong with a little self-confidence. Ciampa's been at the top of his game for a long time. He just wants the respect and accolades that he deserves. Well, he's certainly not afraid to fight for those things with an unwavering focus. But he's headed into a showdown with the one and only Samoa Joe, a superstar with a unique gladiator mentality. He fights in his matches as if his life depended on him. Joe takes in-ring competition very seriously. So you have to expect him to be a focused and deadly opponent. Samoa 
show. Slipped away underneath, and just like that, he's out of the hole. What a hit, boy. There's plenty of things that make Tommaso Ciampa dig. Oh, let's see. We could be seeing a submission here. Being contorted doesn't look good. And you imagine what it would do to his cup. How do you get out of this? Oh, look at that. What a great counter. Turns back Ciampa's attack. This could be it. Cover. And the rope will force a break. Tough position to be caught in here. Oh, put down face first. He's looking a little off balance. Great reversal. Headed to the top rope. Right. Taking flight. Diving close line. Incredible height. Big boot. Champa lining him up from the top turnbuckle. First up top. Oh, he doesn't connect. Yeah, what a counter from Joe. Golly, that sounded rough. Nine. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Good Lord! And what he's looking for here looks like a potential submission maneuver coming. Oh, continuing to punish them. An extreme amount of pressure in this submission hole. There is, how do you get out of this? Oh, look at that. What a great counter. Oh, stick right here. Game over. What a titanic maneuver. He's gone down. Is this it? Barely kicks out. He got close there. It could be do or die time. Jaffa boys ready to strike. kick out from Samoa Joe. Fighting is in this man's blood, and he's not done yet. Champa threw almost everything he could at this, but it could not close it out. What next? He's in a little bit of trouble now. At this stage of the match, they are clearly starting the first up top. Joey Samoa Vicious. Face crusher. Samoa Joe's opponent is about to take a nap. Nowhere to run, nowhere. Does he have it here? One, two, three. No. What do you have to do to put this guy away? And face down. And look who's here. Look who's here. Why not get the best seat in the house? The best view of what's going on. Oh, they're just, just disrespecting this young man, Corey. That's all this is about. Mind games, Cole. But, 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 yes, I know what he's saying. You want me to limit the special matches? The fans don't want the same thing all the time. No, no, I don't want to lose any more shows, but... Yes, yes, I understand they are, but... I'm not questioning that they have more of an impact if you sporadically, I just... Yes, sir, yes, I understand. Again, yes, I will. Goodbye. 
I shall just have to brown those for now. But then...